Hey guys, so I am back with another haul today. Yeah, another one. I decided to visit my local Primark um, with my friend. I say local because it is literally an hour and a half drive away. I live in the middle of nowhere and we don't even have a H&M or anything like that. I actually went up to Primark to get those slide shoes that everyone's raving about. Um, they're like £10 and I wanted a pair in every single colour. But obviously, as luck had it, I went there and they didn't have any. I don't think they even stopped them or ever stopped them because our Primark's actually quite small. But I thought, I'm here, I may as well look at a few things and pick up some underwear and just boring things like that. But I did pick up a few slightly exciting things, for me anyway, so I thought I would just show you. The first thing I picked up and the first thing I basically saw in the shop was this faux leather t-shirt. Um, I picked it up and I, me and my friend we both looked at it like, what the hell is that? And then I held it up to me and I thought, actually I kind of like it, I was kind of feeling it. And then even better, I saw that it was on sale. Sales in Primark are always awesome, everything's cheap anyway. And this was meant to be £12 and it came out at 5 I think. So complete bargain. I probably won't wear it too often but it's definitely something that I'll wear a few times, at least enough to warrant spending £5 on it. I got this in a size 12. The only sizes they had were like size 12, size 16. I'm normally a 6 to 8 but this works quite well, it's quite boxy. I probably wear it with skinny jeans or like some colours or something like that and is that how you say it? Colots? I still don't know how to say that word but I, I'm going to wear this, um, I assure you. So I'll try and insert a picture of myself wearing it or something like that. But I'm really happy with this and this kind of made it all worth it. Another sale item is this big golfer grid sort of sweater and this was meant to be £12 and this was again £5. So I picked this up, tried it on. It's a little bit big, but I thought even if I just wear it as like a rough sort of jumper, then £5 for a jumper like this is nothing. And I think I'll get quite a lot of use out of this in winter, or just generally when it gets a little bit chillier. We'll wear this with leather trousers, as I seem to wear absolutely everything else with. I just really, really like this, and I like that for once Primark actually have a jumper with the print on both sides. I always find you go into Primark and then like, there's a really nice print on the front and then you suddenly find it's like a jersey material at the back and it just doesn't look that good. So I'm quite happy with this. It doesn't look like it's from Primark. It looks like it could be from Topshop or something. So I am very, very happy. Picked up some lint rollers. My boyfriend uses these like nothing else. He basically goes through one every couple of weeks and I decided that I need a few myself without him using them. So I picked some up and these are like £1.50 I think. So when you live with two cats, you need some of these. Picking up underwear in Primark is basically a must. I'm not really going to show you these, but they were like £1, pound, £1.50 pound each. I live in Cornwall and we are basically still stuck in the Middle Ages. Barely any shops take card and there is no way that you're going to find a pay machine that takes card either. So I need to keep a lot of change on me whenever I'm parking in the city. And I picked this up for £3. I'm just going to chuck all of my coins in it because my wallet at the moment is so heavy from coins and everything is just all over the place. So I'm going to keep this in my bag or in my car or something for when I'm driving around and I need some extra change. But it's kind of like a almost faux leather effect. I'm probably going to take off the little tag because I'm not keen on the whole Atmosphere logo. Uh, but other than that, I think it's perfect really and exactly what I needed. For once, I wasn't actually keen on Primark's pyjamas. I don't think I've ever gone into Primark without picking up a pair of pyjamas. But yeah, I picked this up and it just reminds me of those dressing gowns you have when you go to a spa or something. And I always think they look so nice and I always want to steal them. So this was like £8 and it's just going to be really, really nice for when it's quite warm. I don't want to walk around in a really, really fleecy dressing gown. So I picked this up and I'm as soon as I finish this video, I'm getting straight into this. Next I picked up this cushion. I actually wanted the one from H&M. It's like a black and white version of this, but slightly smaller stripes. But we don't have a H&M home in the town that I drove to, so I picked this up from Primark, obviously, and this was £5. I thought it would look quite nice on this chair, or, I don't know, place it in the background or something. She's like, wow. He just fully jumped at my lights. So anyway, I picked this up and I really like it. I might get another one, who knows, but I just really like it. So that's the end of the Primark haul. I hope you enjoyed watching it. I'm gonna have to go because this one is going crazy. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching. Links are down below as always, and I will see you all again in my next one.